Well, hello, friends. I had told you we weren't going to do another auction before a year end, but here we are. <laughs> we caught up with ourselves finally. So we pulled together an auction this week. I know many of you have already seen it. We had a bunch uh, that have already registered to bid. So I'm just going to do a quick preview and show them to you a little more close up. Hopefully I've got the light uh, where you can see uh, relatively well. Uh, but at any rate, I'm going to jump right in and start in with this beautiful piece, which is a gorgeous uh, spiny oyster in the beautiful purple tones. It's choker length and then up to 20 to 23 inches long. Because of this chain here, you can adjust it to whatever length that you need. But this is a stunning piece, really, really pretty. It's gonna lay beautifully. Those of you that love purple it would be awesome. We also have, it's sold separately, but an earring that coordinates beautifully with it as well. It's about an inch and a half long, top to bottom, but that would be a beautiful set if you wanted to bid on both pieces. And that piece sells, oh gosh, sells for $1,700. It's an expensive piece, an investment piece, and so have fun with the bidding on that one. It's a really beautiful, and it is signed uh, Native American. Here's another one that is spiny oyster and turquoise. Look at the beautiful green turquoise in that. It has kind of that squash blossom feel, but not overstated. Just a little bit more quietly stated, but really strong because of the color contrast of the spiny oyster and the green. Let's see if I can hitch, hit the color there. There you go. That's a little better there. This one uh, length is 19 and a half, but again, you could adjust down. You can see here, this is sterling. You can adjust clear all the way up to here. So you could probably have another two inches worth of leeway on that one. So that could be a fun choker, but kind of where my uh, feather one hits. That would be a beautiful piece. Now, just as a reminder, the link here, if you've never been on before, the link to our website, that's where we house, house and host the auctions, is in above in the message uh, that I wrote. So just link up there or just flip up there and you can link right to our website once we're done with the preview and you can register to bid, get a username and a password. This one, I believe this said um, white buffalo, although it's not, it's a different on um, the website and the auction just to show you. This is not um, white buffalo, but it has a bit more of a green tint. Really pretty though, almost a uh, really, really, really pale green but that beautiful matrix like you would see in a beautiful uh, white buffalo piece, but it's just got a little tinge of slight green. Very, very, very light, very pretty. It's really a very stunning piece because of that matrix. And this one is a size eight, okay, in a size eight ring. Uh, this is the last of, I believe, our um, gorgeous tiger's eye. So this is a beautiful Tiger's Eye Sterling set. It is a signed piece. Um, it is native made, uh, but really just clean lines. It's an adjustable one as well. So when you're adjusting this kind of piece, you grab where the stone is in the middle here and adjust on the outside, out or in, whichever you need to do. But it goes on here. It really in that sweet spot in your wrist, right there. Very pretty. You could layer that with other Sterling pieces. It would be cool with uh, black, just a really nice, nice piece. So there is that. This is a white buffalo sterling set piece. And here I'll show you the contrast between that greenish colored stone. It's, see it's slight. Not much, but it is slight, it's there. Okay, the, this looks like white buffalo, but it's a little bit more of a, a green tint. This is white buffalo. For all I know, that other one comes out of the same mineral mix, but has a bit of color because some extra mineral. I'm not a good enough rock hound to tell you that, but uh, other than it's real stone, <laughs> which is a requ uh, requirement. Okay, this is a great piece. And again, this is that really sweet, fits perfectly right into that sweet spot in your wrist. And you can size this up or down. So it's gonna fit anywhere from a probably five and three quarters on up to probably a size seven and a half or eight. And again, grab at the stone, hold it this way, adjust here. Not aggressively. You don't wanna bend a wire back and forth. Any kind of a metal eventually will break. So you wanna do it slowly, quietly, and then leave it. That'll be your size fit when it fits your wrist. Here's another one. This is a beautiful spiny oyster in orange. And this one is a gorgeous, it's a little heavier uh, sterling set. Very pretty. I need that light right in front of me, not to the side of me, but hopefully you can see. Let me see if I can get it over here and if that would help our, our cause at all. 
Oh yeah, a little bit better. There we go. So there you go. That's also a really pretty piece. Yeah, I love that one too. I see the hearts of flying. Agreed. And this is a gorgeous, um, it's uh, hammered and uh, stamped earrings. They're lightweight, so they're really easy to wear, but a real, real bang, you know, for your earring uh, pop power here. And even that just little bit of that spiny oyster and orange really does show up beautifully. It picks up lovely. And if you had the wrist piece down here, see how those just tie right together? Bada-bing, very nice. This one is, actually it's a little bit more of a red uh, spiny oyster. There you can see color. Let's see here, here we go. Just like so, very nice. Um, here is the, a really nice little squash piece. This is a, kind of a little sweet honey of a piece. There it goes, just real understated, very nice. And it mimics um, the squash uh, bottom on the bottom or the nausea piece on the bottom of a larger scale squash blossom, the big scaled ones. But this is just a nod to that kind of a style in a really, really nice uh, turquoise. And then of course, sterling uh, bezeled. It is a signed piece, uh, likely, let me just see here, likely Navajo made, but I can't confirm that, but definitely native made, really pretty. And it's got the chain and this one, yeah, I don't have a measurement on it, but I'm guessing it's right around 16, about 18 inches, okay? And the measurement should be on the website though. Here is our beautiful stone cut slab earrings. Those have some gorgeous matrix. In kind of a taupe and black. Let's see if I can get the right angle here so you can see color. There you go. Some really nice color. Here's where they're gonna pop at the ear. Really a nice, powerful color and piece. Those are beautiful. This is the running horse uh, pendant that has about probably room for a 10, maybe up to a 12 millimeter Navajo pearl. Love the little running horse. He could be right here. He could be even higher on a choker or even down here in a longer strand. Pretty strong. It's a smaller scale pendant piece, but very, very nice. That's all hand done. It is signed, it's native made. Running horses, we love. We love that whole feel. Here is uh, electroplated agate and turquoise earrings. These are two beautiful loops. And again, you're gonna pop and see a nice amount of color there. So the electroplated agate is a more of a gray color. And let's see if I can get it up here so you can see closer. It's kind of a little bit, almost a shininess to it, but very pretty, very, very nice. And these are a favorite. We uh, got back into these. We've carried these before. They're um, retired mercury dimes, and they're done. They're they're um, what do you want to call it? Domed, and then there's a uh, disc turquoise that's been done with them. It's a great long scale. I love this earring. It's lightweight, and it lit literally has the little mercury person there in the dimes. And these are. Oh, when does Mercury Dime date back to? Should be a trivia question, right? Okay, my eyes are not good enough to see that. But at any rate, they're retired uh, coins, US coins. This is a beautiful ring uh, that is spiny oyster and what looks to be, <coughs> excuse me, Sleeping Beauty turquoise. And it's more of a reddish, uh, deep orange uh, spiny oyster. Really pretty. And this one is probably a size six to seven. I don't have it on here, uh, but it should be on the website. If it's not, let me know. We'll come back in and measure it. But really, really pretty, a nice scale size. Let's see, that's my little finger. Okay. Here is a pendant. So it's a turquoise and sterling set bezel pendant. I love the finish work on this. There's a lot of time, and there's actually a lot of sterling. That's actually a quite a uh, thick wide baseband to it and it's got about a 12 millimeter um, uh, what would be a, a bale there that you can put uh, large Navajo pearls over um, and this has green and more of a brown really pretty uh, stone there and you'll see if I put it here kind of the scale of the piece that I'm wearing so it's not a small piece it's actually a really lovely piece that's kind of a nice statement piece if you're looking uh, to add, you know, just a nice turquoise pendant to your collection. I love this piece too, 
with another piece of Navajo pearls down here, or you could bring in some green turquoise. It'd be really pretty as well. Do you love these glasses? I forgot my glasses the other day. These were $11, but I needed them. Our neighbor had them. I was like so happy, but they're kind of, yeah, they're kind of wicked looking, aren't they? <laughs> I'm looking in reflection going, I lost my black ones that I love. I lose a pair about every month and a half. I think we need to sell them. So then I at least have them on hand in the store. I don't have to go sleuthing and I find ones that I love. But here is a, this is probably a three inch long Navajo pearl, sterling silver beads. These are awesome. I have a pair that I wear that are real similar in length. It's kind of that, got a great motion. It's not overstated. It's just very nice accent that you can kind of wear with everything. Those are beautiful. And this is a power piece. Really, like, very, very cool. So this is um, actually two pieces that we put together. This is detachable. We are auctioning it off as a set. But you can do this as a separate piece. You could actually put this on Navajo pearls, like here, something that's longer. And you can do this, uh, I believe it's coral, sponge coral and then turquoise, and there's Navajo pearls in here too, sterling, or you could simply do that, which I actually love it with this because of the spiny oyster here, it pulls it right in. But that is a beautiful piece. If you wanna pop some color, and there's fossilized, this is a fossilized stone, there's spiny oyster, green turquoise, purple, more of a turquoise, and then onyx. And this is all hand beaded. This is all peyote stitch hand beaded. It's a gorgeous piece, it's set on a, uh, embossed in uh, textured uh, copper backing. And it's actually one of our exclusive in-house designs. And then Shauna did the beading on that. So it's a really pretty, 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 pretty piece. That would be an awesome piece because it has multifaceted use. See even here how it pops with just that color. So if you have some earrings or a ring or a bracelet or something in anything in this color with the spiny oyster color in kind of reddish, orangish, more orange though, but there is some red in this as well. Uh, I think it would play for you very nicely. This is um, one of the last three of these we have. This will be a, I, this is probably not a bag that we will have in production again for quite a long time, but it's our little fringed wallet. And we added the option of the shoulder strap. I love the sh short shoulder strap, especially for a, a bag this size, because if anybody ever goes to go and grab it, you know, from you, you've got a hold of it, okay? The option is you could put a crossbody strap on it um, we sell a crossbody strap that would likely work with this, or you simply could take the strap off and put this in your bag. But it's a cute bag. It actually holds a bunch, more than what you would think that it does because it looks flat here. But you can get quite a lot in that, and it has a two-pocket divider. Very nice quality. It's that beautiful kind of a pull-up leather, so if you squish it, it makes a different color. I love that in leather. I really do. And then we did cowhide down through the middle and then the snap closure. So that's a cool bag for those of you that might want a little fun, just uh, run and go into the grocery store kind of, of a bag. And then this is our two, about two and a half inch wide cuff bracelet. It has a three snap adjustment, pretty much gonna fit anyone. It's unisex. It's got cowhide. It's got the brass. Um, embellishment and then the beautiful turquoise colored stone, which is not turquoise, but it is a dyed um, actual stone. It's probably howlite, uh, which howlite's used a lot of times because it has that gorgeous matrix. And um, to me, I design with this uh, howlite in turquoise piece. Whenever I find one that I really love the texture and the color, I, I design with it. I love it. I'm, I am a turquoise snob, but I'm not an, um, a purist. So if the stone is right and the texture and the color pick up right, I don't care as long as it's a real stone that's millions of years old, and that, and that one is. Okay, here is a beautiful, almost a robin's egg blue ring. Beautiful little piece. If you need just a sweet little turquoise ring, this is a size seven. So there you see it. It's big for my smaller finger, but it's a perfect... It's a perfect ring finger one, or even a middle finger. <clears throat> Very sweet piece. This is a gorgeous, look at the stone on this. Really, really, really pretty uh, cuff. It's actually quite heavy. It's got a good amount of sterling. This is all round in the wire, uh, what do you want to say it? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Sometimes things just leave and I can't come up with it. But at any rate, that rolled silver, um, is also see-through. So it's rolled and then it is bezeled. Um, it's bezeled, it's not bezeled. It is um, connected. I have no words tonight. It's the end of the year, good Lord. <laughs> That's how hard we've been running. 
And it has the beautiful stone with the real pretty gray matrix. So it's like an inlay braided is what I say, but it's really not even braided. It's a twisted, like a twisted sterling. And it is set between two solid sterlings. That's the best I can do in coming up where this brain's going today. Cool bracelet. <laughs> and this one, um, it is adjustable. You'll have to give it, really get on it and give it that pull. And again, hang on to that stone before you do that and then do it gently. But you should be able to have some flexibility on adjusting that. I wouldn't go beyond a seven... Seven and a half, up to a seven and a half on that. If you're an A size eight, let's not do that one uh, because that sterling is thicker. This one, you could be anywhere from a six to a, an eight and be fine, but look at the, how gorgeous that stone is in the green. Really, really, really pretty. I'm wondering if, ah, not a bad combination. Look at here. So this pendant, this cuff, that could be cool. And I don't have any earrings. Well, maybe I do. Well, I might. Um, but we can we can find an earring to go with that. But that's a beautiful bracelet. This one have a lot of flexibility with on size. Um, here is a um, white buffalo, really beautifully set stone, a nice black strong, you know, matrix bar right through there, and then it has some very delicate uh, leaf and um, scrolling around it. So it just creates a really nice, a really nice pendant kind of a piece right there. Not too big, not too small, just kind of a nice piece. And these might go with that. Let's see. Nah, a little too blue. These are gorgeous. This is like the last pair of the really big slab earrings that we have. We just got a new shipment, but I didn't really get any of the big slabs. I think this is the last one. So this is a long one, gorgeous color. It's got um, kind of a red copper, greens, blues, and taupes. Very, very pretty. These are awesome. They're kind of like wow dynamic, really. And they're not real, real heavy. You know they have them on, but they're not overly heavy. Some of them are heavy. The ones that are twice that size are like heavy earrings. Those are not bad. This is our uh, sterling plated. It's copper underneath. It's about a fifth of the cost of what a normal um, all sterling Navajo uh, pearl would be. And these are not native made. They're made by a maker here in the United States, however who we love, and it really gave us that affordable sterling silver Navajo pearl-like um, neck piece. This one is 20 inches long, so it's that classic, just nice length that's gonna hit about right in here. You can put all kinds of pendants on. This pendant would be awesome on it. That would be beautiful. Um, do I have another one? Here's another one. Here's another piece that's in the collection uh, tonight in Anaja, which is kind of like the bottom of a squash blossom. This one is gorgeous. It has the red coral off of the tips. Um, it's got that beautiful shelf inlay in through around through the arc. And then this beautiful turquoise uh, stone. And this is a signed piece. It is, it's actually a really beautiful piece. It's got a good size bale, so you can get up to probably a 10, maybe up to 11, 12 um, uh, millimeter uh, pearl through there or neck piece through there or strands of turquoise through there. Be really pretty to do strands of turquoise and coral. Oh my gosh, that would be gorgeous. We have some um, pieces that could work if you had that um, interest I could show you uh, after Sunday uh, what that might look like. And then we have um, these beauties. These are I love these earrings. They're not real heavy, but they're the beautiful Thunderbirds. Look at the work on those. And they're a nice colored turquoise. It's just kind of that wow factor at the ear. I think it just has a real, has a definite spiritual um, inclination to it um, with uh, the Thunderbird. And you can look up the meaning in Native American culture, what those mean, but really, really great, two great pieces. All right, then we have this piece, which is an artisan piece. Now I've showed um, stone stacked cairn type pieces that this artist has done for us. We're now gonna move you into kind of his next level of um, design and development that we um, have worked you know, together on, and that's bringing the antlers into it, which I love this piece. We use these a lot in the store as a piece that we can show jewelry on. So we'll take, and, and we're on the road, we do this too. We'll take and put 
Okay, bear, bear with me because I'm not going to get the right heights and lengths, but I'll play with it here. You could do this in your own uh, jewelry display, like in your bedroom, or if you had a really beautiful piece you wanted to display in your um, living family area. Some of the pieces of these pieces are so magnificent. They really are stunning when you display them, you know, in and around your home and even here. How gorgeous is that? You, know, you could hang an earring off of the tine here. I want to be careful doing that, but that kind of a feel. Okay, we do that in the store. Um, this one you could hang another piece off of over here, whether that's a bracelet or whether that's um, another necklace. Anyway, lots of options. I'm just seeing what I have here. But this is a beautiful piece. This is actually fossilized stone. Most of these stones are naturally, or they're all tumbled. These top ones, anyway, not the base, are all tumbled. Most of them come out of the great Mississippi River, which flows through our fine state. And most of them are out of um, Iowa, uh, but not all. Uh, he, he does go out of state on some of these uh, rock hunts as well. And then this one is just a gorgeous fossilized uh, stone that is just a great base, magnificent. Really, really a pretty piece. This is standalone on a fireplace mantle, on a side table. Um, there's just a whole bunch of places it would work. Um, I think we've had one item sell on the buy now, which is uh, this ring. It's gone. You can cry because you didn't get that. It's a sterling oval ring. Very pretty. You missed that. If you did not, if you're not the, the uh, winner of that particular item, and then other than that, I have, I'm gonna turn this like so, so you can see the beautiful uh, blanket. So this blanket is 20% uh, wool and it is uh, a pattern called Red Zuni. And so that's a really beautiful, it's actually a full-sized um, blanket and um, it could be uh, washable. We it, it's matches the patterns in the outerwear collection that we do which we don't uh, recommend at all that you um, wash the outerwear, but you could wash on cold, gentle, and then just let it to dry. So uh, with a blanket, because it gets more use. So you might have a puppy that you know is on it like I do. Um, and so those are potentially washable, even though it won't say that on the tag. I'll back that up. As long as you wash it, how I've told you, which is cold, and then hang it to dry. Do not dry it, because it has 20% wool. So that's it for tonight. Now, I will also say this, this is our final night of 15% off our entire website. Now, it doesn't include the auction, but it does include everything on the website, jewelry, outerwear. Um, you can order any outerwear right now in any, I'll say this lightly, there might be a few exceptions, but in any of the patterns, um, the caveat to that is it may not be available until mid to late February. So the boat heads uh, to the States from Italy uh, this coming week and production will begin in February as it clears customs and gets into play. And we'll be back in business on um, being able to special order outerwear pieces in our Southwestern collection. Um, so if you want to order um, any, get it done tonight before midnight. That's when Cindy will be cutting the 15% off and it's done for the year, as in most things are done for the year. We just wish there were a couple other things that were done for the year. Um, but other than that, Happy New Year, and hope you and your family um, have a really lovely, peaceful celebration uh, about the thinking of the New Year. I think we're all more than ready for it, um, and hope it brings uh, health and happiness and a good amount of um, prosperity to all of us. And thank you for helping us through this year. It's been critical and crucial and um, has helped us pull through um, has been a really devastating year for many, many, many um, businesses, um, let alone retailers, but businesses, restaurant, everybody, um, because of your support and hanging with us online and buying things and um, trusting us to make sure that we send you awesome and beautiful things. We have um, come through this year and are able to go into next year. So it's a good thing. So with that, hit the 15% tonight. Get into the website, go under shop, 
And then make sure you see the drop downs. One thing that happens in the shop, if you hit shop now and you hit the wrong button, it'll randomly bring everything, jewelry and apparel and coats all together. And it's a mosh pit of a mess. We haven't been able to fix that little tweak. But if you drop down and you go into coats or apparel or jewelry or belts or hats, you'll see them as individual categories and it's much easier to shop them than in that uh, kind of a way. Um, that's it for the auction. Uh, the auction wraps up on Sunday night starting at 8 p.m. It'll go from 8 p.m. till about 8.45. And the auction items, there's 30 of them, they close in two minute intervals. Um, you can bid up to the last 15 seconds, 10 seconds, five seconds if you can get the bid in and the system recognizes it of any item. And then it will add another two minutes to the auction. Um, if in fact uh, your bid gets in or if someone else bid get in and you're bidding against them, then you have the option, you'll get another two minutes to decide, do I wanna go higher? You can also do buy nows up until eight o'clock uh, on Saturday night. So 24 hours before the auction closes. If it's getting close and you just decide that I don't wanna take the chance, I'm gonna lose this piece, I'm gonna do a buy now, boom, it's done, it's off of the auction and you own it. And we will invoice you on Sunday night. Um, also, um, you can do a max bid and a max bid will put in, you put a number in and it will bid up to that number for you if there are other bidders that are engaging in that same item. It'll bid for you. When you get outbid on a max bid, not on a regular bid, if you get bid out just on a $10 increment, it's not gonna let you know. If you get outbid on a max bid, it will give you an email alert. Okay, but uh, the best thing to do is check your bids at about 7.45 on Sunday night. Set a little timer for it. It says Stone Feather Roads auction wrapped up. Um, we're going to soon have a new little um, text option in. So you can sign up for a text reminder when we do auctions of any sort. And we'll send you a little text that says, hey, our auction's wrapping up at 8 o'clock. Join us. Um, the other thing I do want to let you know is next Thursday night, if all goes according, according to plan, we will have um, our next, I think it's our eighth, eighth or ninth, uh, Back Road Treasure Collection Show, which is Native American, um, mostly Native American design jewelry, some in-house design pieces, but a lot of turquoise, spiny oyster, sterling, uh, really beautiful designs that will be 30% and in some cases more off of specific, or all the items, all of them. Um, and that's a real fun show. We started at five or six in the evening. We go for about two hours and it's in buy now uh, mode. So again, it's another, it's a little software that you have to sign up for, but uh, once you're signed up, um, it will add pieces into your cart. You check out at the end of the night, we ship it to you the next day. Ta-da, done. That's how we roll now. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen our video um, that we shot a couple months ago, jump on um, Stonefeather Road or Stonefeather Roadsters, both have it. Scroll down to where you see the pickup truck going down the long gravel road, and that's our road story. And if you like it, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. We appreciate that. Um, and that helps um, our online presence to be happier um, with the algorithms uh, with Facebook. So at any rate, we hope you enjoy the video. It's a two minute video that we produced that we're pretty, pretty happy with. Um, again, happy new year. Um, we'll talk to you in 2021, friends. Thank you much. I'm grateful. Peace and light.